2020 is coming to a close. And if you're like me, you're probably pretty happy about that. It's been a rough year for, for so many people. Challenging year, uh, not normal by any stretch. And someone asked me this morning what my intentions are for 2021. Now, if you've followed me for any length of time, you know that I talk about following inspiration and I, I talk about setting intentions for what you want to do or what you want to be or what you want to have in your life. Um, in contrast to setting goals of, you know, what you want to create and accomplish. And so it was a fair question. You know, what are your intentions for next year? And I had to really stop and think because quite honestly, I couldn't answer it. I, I thought, what are my intentions? I don't know if I have any. And I think it's because life has been so sidetracked this year. And it's really just been about keeping, keeping my head above water and just taking life one day at a time and dealing with things as they come up. And, you know, I've been fortunate to not have been personally, you know, dramatically impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. I already work at home. I'm semi-retired, so I don't work that much anyway. I live up in the mountains, so I'm not in a big city around a lot of people. Um, yeah, I can't see my friends. I can't fly across the country to see my parents. I can't go see my kids. And, you know, it's been a year since I've seen any of those people, longer since I've seen my son. And that's been hard for me. But beyond that, you know, I live a pretty quiet little life up here in the mountains and it hasn't been a huge, huge impact. But I will say this, you know, my parents are older and they've had a really rough year um, suffering a lot of health challenges between the two of them. And I've watched their health decline and to not be able to fly out there and go help support them has been difficult for me. And, and I don't know when I'm going to be able to actually fly out there, hopefully sometime in the coming year. And my kids have both suffered incredible losses this past year. And it's been difficult for me to not be able to go be there with them and hug them and, and all of the support I've been able to offer to my parents, my siblings, and my kids has been virtual. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for FaceTime. And I'm thankful that I can at least be there virtually. But honestly, it's it's kind of put me into a, a situation where I'm just taking life day by day and really just kind of trying to be there for the people that matter to me in the best way that I can. And quite honestly, business is not a priority. It's, it was at the beginning of the pandemic because I sort of distracted myself for three or four months by, you know, cranking out a bunch of online courses that I was inspired to create. And then that inspiration just dried up. And I did launch another course a month ago that, that I was inspired to do. But beyond that, I haven't been super inspired to work. And I think the reason is, is that's just not my priority right now. And I'm very fortunate that it doesn't have to be, um, that I'm semi-retired and I don't, I don't have to be out there trying to make the money, that if I make it, it's good and it's helpful. But if I want to take some time off, I can. And so why am I sharing this video? Because... When, so, when I was asked what my intentions were, I kind of felt, I felt bad almost. I almost felt like a fraud. Like here I am someone that teaches to follow inspiration and to set intentions. And I don't even know what my intentions are. And so it kind of made me gulp and take a step back and then go, wait a minute. I can't be the only person who's feeling this way. And I wanted to share openly and honestly with you to say that I'm trying to be really gentle with myself right now and just allow things to be what they are. And I think you should do the same. You know, this has been, this year has been unprecedented in so many ways, so many things out of our control. And so if you're having trouble dealing with it, if you feel like you're not sure what you're doing business wise, or if your priorities are out of whack, or you just don't even know what you want to do, I think that's okay right now. And so what I'm going to do is just follow my heart. So I guess in a way that is still following inspiration. And my heart's telling me just be there for the people who need you right now. My parents, my siblings, my kids, my husband. And be as supportive as you can and recognize that you're going to have tough days too. And you don't have to have some great big dream right now if, if it's not there. If for me it feels like Teaching about following great big dreams right now sounds a little, little tone deaf because, you know, we're just trying to keep our head above water. 
if you're having trouble attaching to a dream because you're just trying to get through life day to day, we're all human and that's okay. I think I would encourage you as I'm trying to do to look towards 2021 hopefully and optimistically that it will be a better year and so I guess my intentions are to hang on to that hope and to continue to live life day to day doing the best that I can following my heart and not sweating the small stuff and not beating myself up if I'm not creating or working or doing anything I think I should be doing um, and I guess I would encourage you to do the same so as we wrap up this year I, I hope that you're doing okay and I hope that next year is a brighter light for you and for all of us and for the world because God knows we need it and um, just keep hanging in there <laughs>